All right, guys, so here is my review of The Shining. Um, you guys are going to see there's going to be two cases, and uh, one is a lower arch where I removed failing implants, um, placed some new ones, and uh, scanned immediately. On all of the cases, I'm using my THS caps for the uh, restoration of this, the scan of the soft tissue, and here we're using the Shining scanner. So here we go. Take a look. So you can see here, this is the first part where we start from our soft tissue scan, which is actually what's super interesting is that it uses the very wide uh, tip. So I didn't, it was a little bit hard for me because the tip doesn't really follow the way that the box is. So it scans really fast because it scans really, really wide. Um, but if you actually look closely, I'm going to pause it here. Um, you can see how the edges of the THSs are very, very ragged. And this is sort of what I was able to see with using the large tip. Um, he told me that if I use the smaller tip, I'll have a little bit be better um, definition. Um, but in general, uh, obviously the THS is there's nothing bleeding usually, or the blood is very minimal. And the scanner did really, really well, really fast. And the post-processing was done very quickly. I just didn't like how well it... Um, did the definitions of some smaller parts which is a little bit of an issue which is why I restarted to see if I can get it a little bit better but in general it scans really really fast um, a little bit from when I was scanning I felt that the soft tissue scan is not as crisp as it should be uh, you know I'm used to trios 3, 4 and 5 and the scan is always so strong and so well made um, and really processed to reality, but you can see, look at how the tips are very, almost like cut off. Um, I think that they'll probably be able to fix this in a um, software update. So I'm not fully sold on it being a soft tissue scanner, but you can see how well it picks up and how fast it picks up. I just wish that the box actually corresponded to where my scanner was being held. Um, so that was pretty interesting. All right, now you can see how I'm going to be scanning with the Trio scanner, and you can see how crisp and how fast it goes. Obviously, this is set at, uh, I think, 2 to 2x. Two two with the Trio scanner, you get about, um, I would say, 1,000 images a minute. But you can see how sharp the images are actually done, even though in a bloody field with the Trios. And again, this is a Trios 4. We don't use Trios 5 for full arches, um, especially dentulous arches. Um, so that's there with the Trio scan, and obviously we post-process it. Um, then we started using the uh, scanner for the photogrammetry. And this is where it's actually extremely, extremely impressive. Um, really, really cool. This is the second part after you pick up the scans, how it stitches it. Um, and again, the stitching part is a problem that they need to fix. The stitching is not perfect. Um, and that can affect not the fit of your prosthesis, but the way that the bite uh, comes together. Um, but in general, the workflow is pretty cool. Um, the accuracy is good, but it relies a lot on the internal scanner, which has some discrepancy issues. But I think this is just a quick fix that they'll be able to do uh, via software update. Um, and all my, my libraries are all in here, so you can get that, so you can still use my parts. And unlike True Abutment, which forces you to use their parts, the only parts that you need to use for theirs is really their dominoes, which is why you really use the scanner for it, to have the dominoes uh, aligned perfectly so you get a nice scan. Um, I will say I scanned after with, um, I'm not sure if it's in the video, you'll see it. I'm not sure, I sa scanned with my Tupel, uh, photogrammetry which was way 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 slower but just as accurate um, in terms of that you can see in the back uh, number 19 how it's not it's not aligned perfectly um, this is me scanning with my photogrammetry with the Tupel um, you can see how um, first we have to go ahead and capture it obviously the image the the video on the right is not actually in sync correctly with that, um, but it will be in a second. 
because I'm putting in all of the scan flags for the photogrammetry because I just wanted to overlay in the same real case the same thing. Um, and again, if my voice is boring, you can always speed up my video to 1.5x and it will go a little bit faster. So here's here I am using the Tupel. I hit start scan. And you would think everything should pick up real quickly. But this is what I call the Tupel hell, where they need to fix the software. Because, um, you know, I have a very famous saying, digital, digital dentistry is shit. We're just trying to make it less shitty. And the Tupel really struggles if there's any amount of blood whatsoever on the scans. Um, so, and it also struggles with scans that are further back in the mouth. So you have to do a double scan. But you can see how it sees all five of my implants, but it won't pick it up. And I'll just sit there for days and days and I have to rescan and rescan. Whereas with The Shining, I had scanned the photogrammetry within legit seven seconds. And it was done all in one shot. So again, with the shining, there's a soft tissue scan, the photogrammetry scan, and then the stitching scan. Um, so that was my experience with this case. Um, and let me show you the next case. All right, guys, here's the second case. Um, in this case, this is a revision case. There's a zygoma on the upper. Um, again, we put my THS caps, there's five total implants, and you can see on one of the implants, it's actually pretty deep, um, and there's a lot of blood, and it did pretty well. In this case, we had decided to use a smaller tip, and you can see how it picks up the tops of the THS is so much better. Um, and AI is turned off in this one too, but in general, it's pretty fast, and I felt like this scan was way, way better. Um, still not perfect, still not as crisp as Trios, but really, really fast. Um, it doesn't scan as fast as the big um, lens that you can use, but it's a sharper image. Again, this is a minute and 13 scan. This should really take no more than 45 seconds. Um, but and 1393 images, which is very on par to what Trios would do in that same amount of time and still you can see we need to fill in some areas so it doesn't do so well with undercuts um, again it's one of the features when you have a flat screen and doesn't pick it up as well Medit is the best at picking up everything in one shot where you don't have to go to the right and to the left but anyhow the next step for this we go ahead and we save this part of the scan and then we go ahead and we screw in these parts uh, one of the things we found when we were screwing in these parts, they get loose very quickly. So you better make sure that you torque them in real well. But here's the scan you can see of it picking up the photogrammetry. And it picks it up really, really well, really fast. Um, I disagree with Armin that you should just stop. I think you should get as many uh, green dots as you can. Um, this sort of looks like intraorally. Um, the front two we saved, but... You can see the the really the key for this success is that if you can make these dominoes as close to each other, you decrease the amount of error that you would get with a uh, intro scanner. Again, they come in really nice three sizes, small, medium, and large. I think is really cool. Um, disclaimer: I, This was a demo unit. I did not buy it yet. They did not pay me to do this. They're probably scared of this, but in general, for photogrammetry part of it with an intro scanner if you can keep everything very close to each other it's just really really fast but you can see again how the alignment is a little bit off you look at my scan marker it doesn't do it perfectly because again i believe that the soft tissue scanner is not as accurate as it should be um, which is why for all of these these two cases i use the soft tissue from my trios um, and i just use the photogrammetry portion and i did the stitching on my own um, so this was the upper of this case. Um, we used the one millimeter THS, and then it go ahead. It goes ahead and can export that. And you can see that one was pretty deep, and it still picked it up really well. One thing that it doesn't do like that Trios does, which is delete parts, which is very frustrating. Um, it doesn't delete anything that you scanned in the post processing, which is great. So I was really happy about that. Um, I think now we're just saving the parts to get to the next patient to do the lower. Because I was going to try and scan the temp with this, but 
you can see how just to scan a traditional uh, case, uh, you'll see in a second, where we went to scan, it really got confused really fast and started doing double scans. Um, I was probably at fault a little bit of this, but I've done a thousand scans in the past, but take a look as it comes back around and then it starts to get a little bit better and then boom, it gets confused right there. And you can see that that scan is completely off, which is why I really think that their soft tissue scanner or just teeth scanner is just not as good as Trio. It still has the same errors as a lot of these new scanners because the algorithm is not good enough. Someone will say that my scan path is incorrect, but I've done thousands of these and with Trio, so it would just automatically correct it um, and we wouldn't have this issue. So I abandoned this part of the scan and I... Uh, just scan this part with trios so that everything can be correct. Um, I think the next part is going to be me scanning the lower arch with photogrammetry. Um, let me see if we can fast forward through that. Let's... All right, we're going to go ahead and set up the second lower arch. Take a look. All right, so we're scanning. We're in what we call trios hell. You can see how Every time I tried to scan the THS, it constantly, it would say, hey, you got it, and then post-process and delete it. This was so frustrating. I had to add composite to connect it, to create a connection. Trios, please fix this. I beg of you, stop deleting my things. I know there's no way to lock the scan because it post-processes it automatically. Um, if anybody has a solution for this, please let me know. But in general, I did the soft tissue scan with Trails because I just feel like it's so much better and much sharper. Uh, we're going to fast forward through this because you get me out of Trails hell. I mean, this was really frustrating. Anyhow, I didn't get the bottom portion of this. So my final uh, review of this scanner is when it comes to scanning the implant positions with their dominoes, it's really unbelievable and really accurate and really easy, even a bloody field. People say, oh, in a bloody field, it doesn't work. First of all, if your patient is bleeding, you shouldn't be sending them home bleeding. Do better suturing. Do a cleaner surgery. That's number one. Number two, the dominoes sit above the tissue and almost in the air, so blood will never touch it. Um, so that's really great, and you never have an issue of it being too subgingival because everything is up in the air. So for the photogrammetry portion, it's amazing. I would like for them to fix the traditional part of the scanner, which is the intraoral part of soft tissue and teeth and stuff like that. And I think that's just an algorithm uh, post-processing thing. Um, I have a lot of uh, faith for the scanner for now. I would not have it as a single scanner, number one, because it's wireless, number two, because I don't like it as a soft tissue scanner, but if you want to mix it with a trios that you already have for photogrammetry, I say go for it. Have an amazing day. <laughs>